Phones are amazing things. They hold us up. They support us. They make us strong. But bones have other uses. In the past, bones were thrown by diviners, seeking out the mysteries of the future. Now the bones are cubes, made of plastic or resin, but they still reveal things to us as they fall from our fingers and rattle across the table. The story becomes clear. Welcome to Bone Thrower's Theater, an RPG actual play podcast. So thank you very much for listening to Bone Thrower's Theater. Uh, we went ahead and took a break from yesterday's episode to go ahead and set everything up so that we can get on with the business of actually playing. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go around and we're each going to share a little bit about our character, who they are, what they do, and uh, what, how they're related with other characters. So Carlin, since you're the uh, first player, do you want to go ahead and describe to us who your character is? Yeah, I can do that. So my character's name is Harold Dinkins. Um, Harold is a manager at uh, the Chicken Hut, where he works with Stephanie's character, Joy Campbell, who is 16 years old, and uh, she is the forbidden fruit. Um, He is her manager, and she's 16, and he has a crush on her. Um, So that's the relationship there. Um, Also, with Jeff's character, who is Dan Macchio, is that it? Dan Macchio, um, we together have a plan. We are minions who want to get out of the neighborhood watch that we are in together. Um, and then I also had a need to get out of an irritating commitment to a neighbor, and that commitment is to Johnny's character, who Michael is Warner. Michael Warner, who is involved in a feud, a war with his neighbor, who's, what's Jeremy's character? Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> And uh, he had told Michael Warner, well, he has been his ally throughout this war to try and stop Leroy Jenkins, but he has learned something about Leroy that is making him want to not be involved anymore. Okay. All right. So we will leave that for Leroy to describe later. Uh, So, Mr. Macchio? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, My character, Dan Macchio, is suspicious of everyone. So he's not totally trusting uh, Harold Dinkus. Dinkus. <laughs> it's Dinkins. <laughs> Dinkins. Dinkins. <laughs> Sorry. Very nice. He's not completely trusting uh, Harold in with this plan of getting out of the uh, neighborhood watch. Which is probably why he's in on it with him, to kind of see what he's doing with that. Because he's left out. Uh, because he's suspicious of everyone. He's left out of every event that his friends are a part of. Quote, unquote, around the friends. They're not really his friends. <laughs> <laughs> we sound like we get along. Thanks for defining that. Right. Quote, unquote. Now, now, my character has a relationship with yours. Yes. Uh, your character's name is Thor. <laughs> Grambark? Just Thor. Grambacker? Grumbacker. 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 Thor. Just Thor. So, Dan and Thor are both members of the Homeowners Association, which is part of my suspicion of everyone. <laughs> and I believe that I am the treasurer, and he is a thief. Once again, suspicious of everyone. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so, yes. And these came about because I was betrayed by my wife and best friend at the time. Ooh. Not going to tell you guys what, but... We can guess. Can you? (laughs) Can you? (laughs) And abandoned by my dog. Dog left me. And now he's an aspiring country music writer. (laughs) So Billy Ray Cyrus. Yes. (laughs) Was it really abandoned? (laughs) I'm trying to get over it. My name is uh, Thor Grumbacher, and I actually was a trash man for quite a while. Um, I only moved into the neighborhood last year 
and because I knew everybody, I was actually voted into the homeowners association. Uh, turned out to work out pretty okay for me though, because I just lost my job, um, and when I lost my job, I couldn't pay my bills and everything. So my house was foreclosed on, or it was I got a foreclosure notice. Fortunately, I know the treasurer of the homeowners association, <laughs> Mr. Macchio, Dan. And so um, I've been stealing, no, no two ways about it, I've been stealing from the Homeowners Association <laughs> to pay my mortgage. <laughs> the irony there. <laughs> um, and every once in a while I go over and I visit my boss, my former boss, who has kind of helped me cover up the fact that I am not really employed at the moment. And my former boss would be... Mr. Michael Warner. That'd be me. <clears throat> All right. So, Michael Warner has uh, four missions. I used to be his uh, former boss until he was laid off. And uh, what Mr. Thor does not know is that I, too, was laid off. <laughs> <laughs> what? You were laid off? Why am I just now hearing about this? <laughs> So, we are both uh, unemployed and hiding it from everybody else. Um, I am uh, currently at war with my other neighbor, with my neighbor here, uh, Leroy Jenkins, <laughs> who, uh, you know, he just, everything he does, is I want to get rid of him, move him out of my neighborhood. <laughs> I might have to... Uh, Resort to desperate measures. Hey, I haven't had much to do on the face for a All right. Yes. My name is Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. I'm at have a war with this neighbor um, because Michael, Michael Warner. Michael Warner. I'm confined to a wheelchair due to an unfortunate accident, which I had with Mr. Warner's garage door. <laughs> What did you do in my garage? <laughs> but I am also a retired aerospace engineer, super smart, so I find creative ways to pick up my neighbor. And I'm also living with my sister and her daughter. So my niece is Joy Campbell. All right. Well, I'm playing Joy Campbell. I am a 16-year-old angry goth kid who works at Chicken Hut during the afternoons. Yes, and you do. And lives with her mom who works nights. Works and so my hard. genius invalid uncle. And, um, yeah, I uh, apparently have some sort of forbidden fruit relationship that I'm sharing with... Uh, <laughs> With Harold Dinkins, Harold Dinkins <laughs> who <laughs> happens to be my manager at Chicken Hut number 6310. Oh, I manage those chickens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he manages them well. So, There's only one rooster in that hen house. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, commence the yes. All right, so Carlin, because you kicked us off with uh, the character creation and everything yes. like that, you actually get to choose your first scene. Got it. So, um... The, like some suggestions that I might have is that um, you have this relationship with uh, with Dan Macchio where you could go to talk to him about something that you might be able to do to get out of the homeowners association. Another relationship that would be an interesting place to start would be with the um, very young Joy Campbell. <laughs> But I could also start with my need to get out of that irritating neighbor. Commitment. You could need to, you could need to be meeting with. <laughs> which, honestly, I think that's what I want. You want to you want to have a meeting with Leroy Jenkins? No, 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 no with, with Michael Warren. With Michael Warren. Yes. I have a, I have a quick question. Jeremy Go ahead. Has a question. With some of the play sets that were, there's sort of like a, a theme that goes along with, like, for instance, Camp Death. Yes. Is this a slasher movie? Yeah. Other than just being just suburbs, oh, right. what is the, the overall thing? The overall thing we're supposed to be trying to. Do yeah, we know that. No, we know. We didn't. <laughs> okay, so I can go ahead and um, read you um, the actual 
n a, like blurb that comes with this playset, so you kind of get an idea of what it's supposed to be about. We love Poppleton Terrace. Popple, Poppleton Terrace is the name of the fictional uh, suburb that we're living in. All right. Um, it's a nice middle class neighborhood with a nice mix of professional families and a nice, powerful homeowners association. Good people who get involved and know their neighbors. People who aren't <laughs> afraid to tell you that the shade of blue you are painting your house is not exactly allowed by the association covenant. But lately things have been unsettled around Poppleton Terrace. Property values are falling, crime is rising, Longtime residents have been less than receptive to the suggestions of the standards committee, and now new people are moving in. People who are not like us at all. Uh oh. So there are some movies that they suggested uh, to to like kind of get you in the mood for this particular uh, game. Uh, they include Invasions of the Body Snatchers, The Burbs, Neighbors. Weeds, which is a fantastic oh, yes. TV show. I've yes. seen all of Weeds. Little Houses. Seen all do, of do, do, do. Invaders, Donnie Darko, American Beauty, The Twilight Zone. Specific, oh, American Beauty, yep. yeah. Twilight Zone, specifically episodes The Shelter, and The Monsters Are Due on Maple Street. Harold Dinkins is Kevin Spacey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Awesome. But at Chicken Hut. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> so that's kind of like the idea uh, and the feel that it, they're okay. going for cool. in terms uh, of so the... So who's uh, the new neighbor? I've already determined one. Uh, well, I, I'm a fairly new neighbor. I only moved in last year. Uh, yes. So. That's pretty new. That is very new. So anyway, it is your first scene. So I'm free to... Uh, yeah, I want to I wanna have my first scene with Michael Warner. Okay, now just as an explanation for the listeners, one thing that we are going to do is that the dice that we rolled earlier were different colors. Um, one, one set of them are black and one set is white. And so while you are actually playing out your scene... The rest of us will, um, whoever's will not be, involved in yeah, scene. whoever's not involved will go ahead and make a choice of what color die to give you. And that will tell you how your scene is sup you're supposed to wind up. If it's going to go positively for you or if it's not going to be so positive. Got it. So there you go. Negative. You mean the 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 scene currently that yes, we're going to yeah. okay. scene that you're currently. So whenever I see what the color is, yes. I'll have to adjust. Right, and for okay. the for the purposes of the podcast. We'll probably interrupt you just briefly to, inter to announce what color it is. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so I'm going to... Um, Harold Dinkins needs to speak with Michael Warner about... He wants to get out of this little arrangement with helping him with this war. <laughs> so, um, um... Really quickly. Yes. What does your house look like, uh, Mr. Warner? <laughs> huh. Broken garage door. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh... Besides the broken garage door, which somebody broke with their body. <laughs> hey, they broke Just they broke each other. <laughs> um, man I have body a uh, it's a, a two story house, you know, picturesque. You know, nice. Windows in the front. Do you have like a fence around your yard um, or? There's a little picket fence between my yard and the neighbor's yard, and a. Taller fence between my yard and uh, <laughs> Leroy Jenkins' yard. Now, now, are there any like um, divots in your yard, or how, how, how's the condition of your yard? I'm sh I'm sure you're someone who likes to keep your yard nice and pristine. Well, yeah, you have to go within the regulations of the HOA. Um, however, the uh, my flower garden that I used to tend is uh, now worthless, and uh, thanks to Mr. Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not sure exactly what he did there still. <laughs> I just know nothing will grow anymore. <laughs> All right. Well. All right. So uh, so Harold is going to come up and knock on Michael's door. Wait, I have a question. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> what time of day is this? Like, uh, I think evening. Evening? Like okay. evening so to maybe, early like, on night. on your neighborhood watch rounds. Yes, on neighborhood okay. watch rounds. Perfect. Oh, Harold, come on in. Oh, well. Have a drink. Uh, oh, <laughs> a drink? Yeah, have a drink. Oh, what are you serving? 
I got a few beers in the fridge. Okay. All right. <laughs> let's, let's do. Let's do two shots and a beer. All right. All right. So um, I, I actually just came by because um, I know I've been kind of trying to help you out a little bit with your little yeah, I really appreciate issue. It. <laughs> well, um, I I can't anymore, really. <laughs> okay, what, I can't. What about the, the device you were going to get for me? I no no I I can't obtain that. The, the, the thing is, the thing is I. I learned some stuff about Harold. Or, I'm sorry, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Just really, you learned some stuff about yourself, huh? I learned some things about Leroy. Just right. re- really quickly, um, I just wanted to let uh, people listening along know that we have handed Carlin, Harold, a black die. So he knows that this scene is not going to go his way. Right. So I learned some things about Leroy. And I can't, with a clear conscience, help you with this. What? What did you learn? He's in a wheelchair. Well, yeah. You knew <laughs> this? Well, how do you think my garage door got broken? <laughs> that makes no sense. I don't know. All I know is I can't get you a flamethrower. <laughs> I cannot. Look. Okay. I'll admit, going, the flamethrower is going a little bit far. Yes. How about some weed killer? Um... Maybe, yeah. Um, what weed are you killer, gonna you can get this anywhere, right? What are you gonna do with weed killer? Don't worry, about it. I'll take care of it. Yeah, I know you don't want to mess with them because it's a wheelchair, but you can pick up the weed killer for me. I'll take care of the rest. Can you just keep my name clear of this? I kind of need to. I need to keep a low profile. Absolutely. Okay. Um, just have, get me that weed killer, right? And okay. I'll let you know what I need next. Okay. Okay. I can do that. I guess. All right. And scene. Scene. All right, so now, Carlin, you have a black die sitting in front of you. Yes. You can actually give that die to anybody else here at the table. Um, because in the first act of the game, you actually give your die away. Okay. So, <laughs> so go ahead. You can go ahead and choose just anybody at random, or you could have a reason that you want to, to give this die to someone. Reason. Yeah. Okay, I want to give it to Johnny <laughs> because I want his feud with Leroy to not go his way. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Sounds fantastic. All right, Jeff, you are up with uh, Dan Macchio. So you can um, go ahead and uh, who do you want to have your, your scene with? I think I want to pick you, up... Yeah, you can also choose the outcome and we'll frame the scene. That's also an option. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I was thinking that I would pick up right after... Uh, oh, Harold. 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 So Harold are left. you... Are, like, did Harold go in the house and leave you, like, standing at the end of the driveway? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he, so yeah. he abandoned you, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You left me outside. I was going to wait for him just to say, hey, we're out here doing our thing. And he went inside, and I'm just, what's going on? So I guess I've been in there for two hours. Because we had two shots and a beer, right? Okay. Hey, you can take the beer to go. Okay, I will. (laughs) Harold takes the beer to go. So Harold comes walking out of Michael's house, swigging on a beer, and goes up to um, Dan. (laughs) What's up, Dan? What took so long? I, you know. Did you have fun? (laughs) Yeah, I mean, you know, we had a few drinks. (laughs) Good. (laughs) I'm glad. Yeah, it's cool. Do you want some? What's your objective? My objective is to... (laughs) To start our plan of getting out of the Neighborhood neighborhood watch. Sounds good. I thought you were in the homeowners association. Yes, I am. But, oh, so but the the plan but is to get out of the neighborhood, neighborhood watch. watch. That's different right. than the homeowners. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, do you want you you want you want some beer? No, I think not. I okay. don't know where it came from. <laughs> um, it came from Michael's house. Yeah. You, you don't trust Michael. No. Okay. Um, why do you beer. think I'm in the 
the neighborhood watch. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't trust many of these people, especially yeah. the new ones that came in down the street. Yeah. That Thor, whoever he is. Yeah, I don't get a good vibe off that guy. Yeah. So we're trying to get out of this. Yeah. This is part of my plan. The drinking while I'm doing neighborhood watch. That's part of my plan. Yeah. That's how I'm one of the ways I'm looking at getting out of this. Just to let you know, uh, we have decided to hand Jeff a black dime. Well, I don't know how well that will work. Let's let's work up a plan together, you and I, okay. trying to to get out of this. What do you think? I mean, pretty much all I can figure out is that we need to do something to get thrown out, potentially. Hmm. What do you know about making crystal meth? <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. Well, and honestly, if we can't get out, then this is just another idea to just make some cash on the side. I'm just saying. <laughs> hmm. Take some mental note. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think I'll look into it. Okay. I'm just gonna Google it. Hey. <laughs> no, I have I have friends. Friends and places that do things. All right. Things so, that they do good. in places. <laughs> yeah, that, that, of that sounds like a start. <laughs> Let's start there. And um, yeah, cool. Do you want to go, go take a dip in uh, Mrs. Kincaid's hot tub while she's not home? I don't think that's very wise. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> and. That seems like a pretty good place to end the scene, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that didn't sound like it was going to end well for you. <laughs> yeah, no. You're the fall guy. He's going to figure out how to make meth. <laughs> okay. Hmm. We had cops tell us how to make meth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Yes. You know, if you purchase Fiasco, you have a great set of resources in the back of the book, including... Not including how to make meth. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 But including things like um, <laughs> disposing of corpses, <laughs> how to make a fake ID. Well, we've got uh, Carlin here. We don't need that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Avoid, <laughs> avoiding a bear mauling. So, wow. Yeah. So, I mean. Just run faster than the other person. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, really quickly, um, you, you, oh, you need, to, your, you need oh, to actually take die. your die yeah. and give it to somebody else. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's give it to Stephanie. Aww. Any particular black, reason or just randomly? Color. Just randomly. Okay. Well, she is a goth girl. I am. Yeah. She likes black. It's my favorite color. Really? <laughs> she does. Hair in the face. <laughs> Hair in the face. <laughs> All right. All right, Jordan. So. Thor. 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 So what I, I'm thinking for my scene is that I'm actually going to involve an extra. I'm not really seeing anybody who's available from the con right now to steal as an extra. But my thought is that I'm going to be on the phone with someone from the foreclosure agency trying to talk about how I can make sure that, you know, how, that I can get an extension so I can pay off my uh, the, my monthly bill in time, so I don't lose my house. Does your character know how to make meth? No, <laughs> no, but I do know how. I can see why my character likes yours now. <laughs> I do know how to steal from the homeowners association. Yes. So, but anyway, actually, I think that this. This 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 can't go well. For, well, no. Well, could it go well for me? Well, you just framed the scene. It so could. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it okay. Could. Okay. I framed the chair. I framed the scene. Okay. So, who wants to be the customer service representative on the other end of the phone? Stephanie. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Uh, hold on, I gotta get out of character now. I'm gonna be cheerful and very helpful, except that I'm not. <laughs> oh, that's around. perfect. <laughs> Answer a question, but don't answer a question. <laughs> Anybody who's calling you about for their foreclosing on their house just doesn't have to be cheerful. <laughs> yep. Okay. I'm gonna be professional. So I recently my new my new house is an a, actually like a, a rancher, two bedroom rancher. Um, it's got a full basement, which I had before I got laid off. I wasn't expecting to get laid off, so I had actually turned it into into a really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, man cave, you know, you go down there, the, there's yeah, a the full, dug out pool. there's a full <laughs> surround sound system, there's a pool table, there's a, um, there's a big screen TV, and, um, and I, uh, just am just really excited about my new television that I had just purchased three weeks before I got let go, and so I've come down with my stack of mail and sitting right on top of there is the for foreclosure notice. So I rip that open, I, I look at it, <sighs> reach into the mini fridge, pull out a bottle of rum and a Coca-Cola, <laughs> pour that in and um, really liberally dose in the rum and I dial the phone number. Williams and Hart Mortgage Associates. This is Elaine. How may I help you? Hi. Uh, what was your name again? My name is Elaine, sir. Okay. Now, how do you spell that? It's e is an elephant. Okay. L is in lion. Great. A is an ant. I is an igloo. N as in November. newspaper. And E is an elephant. Great. Thank and your you. name, sir? My name is uh, Thor. Uh, Grumbacher. All right, Mr. Grumbacher. Do you need I just need to inform you that this call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Okay. Do you also need my? Um, also, would you be interested number? in taking a customer service survey after this call? Yes. Yes, I would actually. All right. Great. Let me go ahead and set that up. Hold, please. Okay. <laughs> all right, Mr. Grumbacher. Yes. All right. We're all set up now. What can I help with you with today? Okay. So. Um, I just got this letter in the mail. Um, it was dated um, May 17th. It's now May 24th, so it must have gotten lost in the mail, something like that. I see. And what did the letter say? Well, um, it's a foreclosure notice. Oh, I see. Well, let me just get some basic information from you first. Can okay. I please get your full name with spelling, please? Okay. It's uh, Thor... T as in thunderstorm. <laughs> H as in thunderstorm. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? H as in hotel. I see. O as in Oscar. Mm -hmm. R as in Romeo. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that's the end of my first name. I see. And middle name? Or middle initial, I'm sorry. S. Okay. <laughs> S. And how do you spell your last name, sir? G is in golf. Mm -hmm. R is in Romeo. Mm -hmm. U is in uniform. Mm -hmm. M is in Mike. Uh -huh. B is in Bravo. Mm -hmm. A is in Alpha. Mm -hmm. C is in Charlie. Uh -huh. H is in Hotel. Mm -hmm. E is in Echo. Uh -huh. R is in Romeo. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now can I please get your full address? Sure. It's 4320 Martindale Avenue. Mm -hmm. uh, in Poppleton Grove, or no, Poppleton Terrace. I just moved. I'm really sorry. I don't That's know these right, things. That's sir. Poppleton Terrace? Yes, ma'am. Now, how do you spell Poppleton? <laughs> <laughs> you know those toys from the 80s? Yeah, Popples? Um, all right. And you just add a T-O-N at the end. I see. Is that P-O-P -P or P-O-P-P? -P? Double P. All right. And it's ton as in T-O-N or T-O-W-N? Ton as in how much you weigh. <laughs> I see, sir. <laughs> All right, Popton Terrace. Okay. All right, that's coming right up there. Okay, and I just need some information for verification. Can you please give me your birthday? November 31st, mm -hmm. 1974. Mm -hmm. And what else do you need? Um, that'll be everything, actually, sir. Let me pull up your file. Hold on. 
All right. Yes, it seems like we sent you out a foreclosure notice. Um, yes, it was about a week ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Uh, your payments have uh, been delinquent for, looks like, a month now. Pause. Pause. We just gave Jordan a white die. <laughs> this is going to go in his favor. Okay. All right, ma'am. Elaine, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so it, it's a month overdue. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, I, I have to be honest. I just lost my job six months ago. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. And I've been managing to make my payments all the way up until this point, until this last month. Don't you think that it would be in, you know, your best interests to keep a customer? It would be the only the Christian thing to do to allow someone just a little bit of grace. I, I, I know that I'm going to be getting some freelance work here in the very near future, and I will be able to pay my uh, bill as soon as I get the payment coming in. Well, sir, let me see what I can do. Let me go ahead and look up your credit record. So give me just a moment. Dear All God, right. I shouldn't have bought that TV. There it is. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like you've made quite a few recent purchases, but however, your credit history is pretty good, and your rating is good, uh-huh. Okay, well, here's what I can offer you, Mr. Grumbacher. That's right. Um, we <laughs> can put you, go ahead and put you on a delayed payment plan. Okay. What we can do is we can lower your payments slightly from month to month. Um, all I would need you to do is go ahead and pay up that delinquent amount, and then we will set you down to our next tier of payments. Um, and what I would need you to do is fill out some forms that we'll mail you. Um, they're, they're basic income forms, and um, you would get, need to get those notarized, and send those back to us. And then we'll get you on that lower tier pay, or lower payment tier, and um, you should be able to stay on there until you can resolve your employment situation. How would that be, sir? Well, I think that should work out. Is it okay if the payment is comes in in about a week or so? I mean, that that's the soonest I'm going to be paid. Well, sir, the soonest you can pay it would be the best. You've been a real doll. I really do appreciate all the help you've been you've well, given Well, Mr. Drumbacher, I'm happy to help you. Thank you very much for calling Williams and Hart. Um, is there anything else I can help you with? Um, I don't think so at this time. Um, but if you could actually help me with the, t take care of my utility bills as well, I'd really appreciate that. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. That's not what Williams and Parts deals with. But I'm going to go ahead and put you onto that customer service survey, sir. I hope you've enjoyed your experience today on our phone call, and you have a wonderful day. Great. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Mr. Grumbacher. Goodbye. Goodbye. Click. Beep. <laughs> and spend much time on customer service phone lines. <laughs> oh, well, you're the one always goodness. making me do the bills, so. <laughs> uh, all right, and we're going to go ahead and pause there. So, and w when we come back, it will be uh, Johnny's turn, and we will get to see what happens with Michael Warner. Thanks very much for listening to Bone Throwers Theater. Thank you for listening to Bone Throwers Theater. The cast is Carlin, Jeff. Jeremy, Johnny, Jordan, and Stephanie. This podcast is released under our Creative Commons Attribution, Non Commercial, No Derivatives 3.0 Unboarded License. Please feel free to share the podcast, but please do not modify it or attempt to gain financially from it. To find this show online, visit our site, bonethrowerstheater.com. Our Twitter feed is at Bone Throwers Theater, and our email address is bonethrowerstheater at gmail.com. Join our social networks on Facebook and Google+. Podcast art was designed by Laura Tress and is used with her permission. Until next time, may the bones fall in your favor. This has been a Nerd Circle podcast production.